In this video, we'll look at the intersection of two planes. When two planes meet, they meet in a line. There's a possibility that they don't meet at all, but these will. Let's see. So the equations are x minus y minus z minus 12 equals 0. That's equation 1. And 3x minus 2y minus 4z minus 8 equals 0. That's equation 2. All right. First thing to do, check their normal vectors. We want to see what their normal vectors are to see if the planes are parallel. If they're parallel, they're not going to meet. And they'll be parallel if these normal vectors are multiples of each other. You get the normal vectors just by looking at the coefficients of the x, y, and z. So the coefficients are 1, negative 1, and negative 1, and 3, negative 2, and negative 4. Well, clearly they're not multiples of each other, and I know this because if you go from 1 to 3, you multiply by 3, but when you multiply negative 1 by 3, you don't get negative 2. So it's over. Since the normals aren't or are not multiples, therefore the planes intersect at a line. And think about what that means. Since these normals aren't multiples of each other, that means that the planes themselves have to be on an angle, which means they're going to eventually hit. And when two planes hit, picture a sheet of paper and another sheet of paper in space. If those sheets of paper are not parallel, if you extend them forever, which is what planes are, they're infinite sheets of paper, they have to touch. And they're going to touch where they meet is going to be one long infinite line. All right. Well, let's see where they do meet. Let's figure it out. How do you find out their intersection? By getting their coefficients to be the same. I'm going to use elimination. I want to eliminate either the x or the y or the z. You could pick either one. I'm going to pick the x's. I'm going to do equation 1 times 3. I get 3x minus 3y minus 3z minus 12 equals 0. And I'm leaving equation 2 alone because now it also has a coefficient of 3 on the x. So I don't touch it, I just rewrite it. Minus 4z minus 8 equals 0. All right. Elimination says subtract. So I'm going to subtract those. When I do, oh, and I put this minus in a circle to remind myself subtract each thing, not just the first thing. 3x, take away 3x, that leaves 0. That's what I wanted. I designed it that way. Minus 3y minus a minus is a plus. So minus 3y plus 2y gives negative y. Negative 3z minus a minus is a plus. So it's negative 3z plus 4z, which gives positive z. And finally, minus 12 minus... Oh, and I forgot to multiply this number here by 36. You know, I actually had to restart the video from doing that, and I'm not restarting again. So here's my mistake. Look, I did x times 3. I got 3x. X, I did the y times 3. I got negative 3y. I got negative z times 3. But look, I forgot to multiply this negative 12. That's an important note to self. Remember to multiply the constant also by 3. Negative 12 times 3 gives negative 36. So I'm not restarting, I'm, I've got this. I'm gonna subtract minus 36 minus minus eight gives minus 28. And that still equals zero. Zero take away zero, zero. Okay, that's it. I can't do any other elimination or substitution. I've used up equation one and equation two and I'm left with this. I'll call it equation three. So in order to find their intersection, I need to define one of the parameters. I could pick either y or z. I'm going to pick z and let z equal to t. And it's going to be any t parameter. You'll see when we're finished. It's how we set it up. It's going to be a t, any number. So I better write here t is an element of r. i got to say, you can sub in any t for z. Let's continue up here. I've got let z equal t. So into this equation 3, I'm going to sub that in, sub z equals t into 3, the third equation. So I get minus y plus t minus 28 equals 0. And I'm going to solve for y, setting up parametric equations. If z is t, let's solve for y. 
I'm going to move the t over, take away t both sides. You get negative y minus 28 equals negative t. And now I'm going to move the 28 over by adding 28 both sides. That gives me just negative y on this side. On the right hand side, I'll put the 28 first because parametric equations, the number comes first. So you get 28 minus t. And so finally, I want to get y by itself, but it has a negative or a negative 1 in front. What's the opposite of times negative 1? Divide by negative 1. So I'm going to divide each thing by negative 1 so that this solves for y. And I'm left with negative 28 plus t. Got my second parametric equation. I've got my z and I've got my y. I just need to solve for x. I could sub in this y and z into either equation 1 or equation 2, but I'll take equation 1. It looks like it'll be easier to work with, smaller coefficients. So sub z equals t and y equals negative 28 plus t into equation 1, and I'll solve for x. So I get x take away y, but I got to take away all of negative 28 plus t. And then I have take away z, and z is just t. I could put brackets, but it's just a t. So I just take away t. Minus 12 equals 0. And so now I need to solve for x as a parametric equation. All right, so I'm going to rainbow this minus in, or distribute it. So I get x plus 28 minus t minus another t. This is minus t here. And then this is the other minus t, minus 12 equals 0. Now I'll collect like terms on the same side. I have x, let's see, plus 28 minus 12. That gives plus 28 take away 12 would be plus 16. And then take away t, take away another t is take away 2t. So now I want to move it over. Last time I moved the t's over first. This time I can move the numbers over first. Doesn't matter. Take away 16 both sides. And I get x minus 2t equals negative 16. I'm going to continue up here. So now I can just see what I'm doing here. I'm going to get x by itself. Add 2t both sides. And I solved for the x parametric equation. I get x equals I'm going to write the number first, negative 16 plus 2t. And I've done it. I have a parametric equation. I'll write them all out. So the equation is, and now I've got x equals negative. I'm just rewriting them all. I already have them all. It's here. I'm putting them all together, though. And you could put a therefore instead of the word so. Both are good. I got my x is negative 16 plus 2t, my y is negative 28 plus t, and my z is t. And I've got my answer. This is a parametric equation. If for some reason, I, I left a so here so I could write a final therefore. If for some reason it said write the equation not as a parametric, but it asked you for a vector equation, I'm going to do my final therefore statement just because. It didn't ask me, but I'm doing it. The line of intersection is, and I'm going to write it as an equation, so it's a vector equation, I'll call it r, and so my r vector is the points, so the initial constants, which is negative 16, negative 28, and 0. Look, there's nothing here, so it's just a 0. Plus t, the parameter that I used, times the direction vector, that's the coefficients here, which is 2, a 1, and a 1. And I'm done. Did this video. After many tries, I've been successful. I found the intersection of two planes. It turned out to, that they intersected in a line. And I knew that because first I checked their normal vectors and saw that the two planes weren't parallel. Since they weren't parallel, I knew they had to intersect in, in a line. So I used elimination. I got one equation's coefficients to match the others, or just one letter. In this case, I chose x. And when they matched, I was able to use elimination 
and subtract it. I got an equation, but I had to choose one of the parameters and set it equal to t. That allowed me to solve for the y value, the other value. And then I took both those parameters, the z equals t and the y, and subbed it back into one of the equations and solved for x. And I had my answer. This answer was good enough. It was the parametric equation of a line that represents their intersection. But I wanted to try writing it as a vector equation just for fun. And I've got it here. Both solutions are the correct ones. Both would be equally valid. But here's how to write the solution as a parametric equation. Here's how to write it as a vector equation. And I'm done. I found the intersection of two planes where they intersected as a line.